We have created this tutorial based on the request from one of our viewers. In this tutorial, we will create a greeting card animation that includes opening and closing of a card, like this. So, let us start with a blank new file. We will use this default cube, but we have to reduce its height so that we get almost a flat surface, and we will then convert that into a greeting card. So, in the object properties, reduce the z-scale factor to 0.001. Now, we have to create a subdivision for this. So go to the modifiers tab, and add a subdivision surface modifier. Switch over to the simple option. Change these subdivision levels to 1, and apply the modifier. If we turn on the wireframe view mode, we can see the four segments created by the subdivision. Next, we need to attach some greeting card picture on this surface and its back face. So, turn on the rendered view mode. Let us also turn on the HDRI background lighting. Just in case you are not familiar with HDRI, or if you want to know how to set up HDRI lighting, you can check the link given below in the description, where we have discussed all about HDRI in a quick tutorial. Now, split the screen into half, so that we have two panels side by side. And on this left side panel, open the UV editor. Then on this side, go to the edit mode. Deselect everything and turn on the face selection mode. Then select these four faces. So, we can now see the four rectangles corresponding to these four segments. We have to now import some greeting card picture into this for the mapping. We have already created some card pictures. There are total four pages here, all having the equal size, including the front cover and the back cover. We have to then combine them into a single picture like this. This combined picture is what we will actually import into our UV editor for the UV mapping. So go to the image menu and click on open. You need to go to the location where you have kept the combined picture for our card and then open it. Resize it with the mouse wheel. On this side of the greeting card, we would like to project this upper section of the picture, having two pages combined together. The front cover and the back cover are here, side by side, and the two inside pages are arranged likewise in the bottom half. So on this side, we will map this upper half of the picture. These four segments are represented here in the UV editor. Press A to select all of them, then press G to move them on this map, and move your mouse to place them at the center of this upper half. Then press S to resize and press X, and move your mouse to enlarge them first in the horizontal direction. Again press S, then press Y to enlarge it vertically, and fit it exactly on this picture, like this. Now on the bottom side, we have to map this half of the picture. So, deselect everything, and go to the bottom part of the card. Select these four faces. We have their UV map here. Press A to select all. Press G to move them, and move your mouse to place them at the center of this half. And like before, press S to resize them using your mouse, in order to fit them exactly on this picture in both the dimensions. While moving your mouse, you can press the control key to increase the size in steps. That helps to achieve this task very easily. Now, in order to see this card picture actually on our card object here, go to the Materials tab. We already have one default material, and a principal BSDF. Click on this base color icon and select Image Texture here. Then from this little drop-down, select the same image for which we have created the UV map, the combined picture. So you can now see the card picture appearing on our object nicely. Even on the other side too. So, the first part of our task is now complete. We can close this panel, we don't need it anymore. For a better effect, please go to the Materials tab again, and reduce this specular value to zero, to remove the light reflections on the card. Then go back to the Object mode. We have to turn the card upright. So go to the Object Properties, and change its X rotation value, to minus 90 degrees. We will fix the lighting issue, but let us first correct its aspect ratio. It should have the same aspect ratio as that of our source picture, which is known to us beforehand. So change the scale factor in X to 1.42. And, we can also move it up, by say one unit. Now, everything is good, but we don't have sufficient light here, we have to rectify it. So, select the light object. We have a sun type light here, we have to ensure that it falls directly on the card, as the camera looks at it from this angle. 
Now, we will add the card opening and closing animations, which is the main part of this tutorial. But before that, we have to first apply all the existing location or rotation transforms. So, go to the object menu and apply all transforms. This step is very important. Now go to the modifiers tab and add one simple deform modifier. Switch over to the bend option and change this bend axis to Z axis. Now, if you change this bend angle, the card will show a folding animation. You can change the angle in a positive or in a negative territory, and the card will accordingly either open or close. But we need to also rotate the card towards the camera. So go to the Object Properties tab, and if you change the Z rotation value here, the card will rotate in response and change its orientation. Let us now set up our camera. We want to place the camera right here. Let us first remove the current location values for the camera. We have to also remove these rotation values and make them zero. We will bring it here along the Y axis. So increase its Y location value gradually. Maybe we can use a round figure of six units. And we have to also rotate it so that it looks directly at the greeting card horizontally. So change its X rotation value to minus 90 and the Y rotation value to 180. You can use a different value if your camera position is different. Let us go to the camera view mode. The card is above the camera line. So, let us move our camera upward by one unit, same as the card. Now it is perfect. Initially at the beginning of the animation, the card should be in a closed state or folded. So select the card and in the modifiers tab, we have to further reduce this bend angle. Along with this, we have to also rotate it towards the camera. Ideally, this angle should be minus 360 degrees. But, if you do that, you will see that the other side picture is now visible from this side. That is because the two parts are now overlapping on each other. We have to maintain some gap between them. So instead of this, let us use minus 350. Now it is almost perfect, and there is no overlap between them. But we also have another problem here, the aspect ratio is not perfect anymore. As it went into a folded position, the aspect ratio got messed up. To rectify it, go to its properties tab, and we have to scale the Y dimension as well, with the same aspect ratio that we used earlier. So change it to 1.42. Now the aspect ratio is correct. And we can also rotate the card around its Z axis by 90 degrees. And we need to also move it towards the center of the camera view, so we have to move it towards the left by changing its X location slightly. The correct value of this offset should be half of this scale factor so we can directly enter 0.71 here. Initially the card remains folded like this, and let's say the unfold animation of the card starts after a certain number of frames, maybe after 50 frames. So, we have to go to frame number 50. At this frame number, we have to insert a keyframe for these values, so keyframe the X location, keyframe the angle of rotation around the Z axis, and in the modifiers tab, we have to also keyframe this bend angle of the card. Let us then go to another frame, frame number 80. Here the card should open this way. So the bend angle must be changed to zero, making the card fully open. We have to also insert a keyframe for this. And in the object properties tab, the Z rotation angle needs to be decreased on the negative side for the correct orientation. Let us directly enter minus 180 and keyframe it. Then the X location value has to be zero. We have to also keyframe it. We can then go back to frame number one. At the very beginning, we want the card to slide from this side. So, let us decrease the X location value for the card, somewhere around this. Let us use a value of minus 2.3 and also keyframe it. If we then play the animation, the card will enter from the right side and it will open like this. Fantastic! Let's say we want to keep it open for 40 frames after it is fully open. So, we will go to frame number 120. We need to insert keyframes for these two values, and also for the bend angle here. Now, we have to start the folding animation so that the back cover comes in front of the camera. Let us go to frame number 150. And we have to change this bend angle to fold the card. Let us enter minus 350, just like before, and keyframe it. 
and we have to rotate it this way. Basically, it should be minus 270. Let us keyframe this. And we need to move the card slightly towards the right. So the X location has to be minus 0.71, and also, keyframe it as usual. It remains here for say, 20 frames. So we go to frame number, 170. We have to again keyframe these two values. And same for the bend angle, in the modifier. The card should then turn around facing this side. Let us go to frame number, 200. The card should rotate here. So go to the object properties. It should take a turn, just like this way. Let us enter an exact value here, which is minus 450. And it should move towards the left at the same time. So change its X location to 0.71. And do not forget to keyframe them. If we now play it from the beginning, the card will make an entry from the right side, and then it will open itself. Within a second, it will start closing, and finally, it will turn around. If you want, you can also add some fancy effects here, like some snowfall, or maybe you can add some sparkling lights, all up to you how to decorate the scene. And that takes us to the end of today's discussion. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.